I'm at the American Air Power Museum at Republic Airport with Jim Show and Jim Lemon, partners in this museum and the and the Kadish Museum of, Amer of American Armor. Jesborn, thank you for joining me today. Glad to be here. We're here to learn about the World War II historic encampment that will be taking place at Old Bethpage Re Restoration Village on May 19th and 20th. What is a historical encampment? Well, historical encampment is basically an outside museum where history comes to life. And it would reenact us in period uniforms, uh, carrying period weapons and, and equipment, period vehicles, uh, jeeps and tanks and possibly planes. Uh, come together and invite the public in to, to uh, educate them and to see what we're all about and see what history is all about. What will people be able to see there exactly? Well, there'll be all kinds of equipment there. Uh, living historians like you see behind us, dressed in period uniforms and carrying original equipment and original weapons to show the public. Uh, there'll be all various kinds, such as soldiers, sailors, Marines, Army, even some of our allies. There will also be a number of vehicles there as well. This Sherman tank, an original World War II tank, will be there. We'll have armored cars, we'll have a 40 millimeter anti-aircraft gun, and recently a very rare 155 millimeter artillery piece. And hopefully, like Jim said, we'll have a, a vintage World War II fighter plane swooping down over the skies looking for enemy uh, forces while uh, we're at the camp. What other kinds of machinery will be on display there? Well, like I said, I think it'll be mostly uh, vehicles from the Kaddish Museum of American Armor, like I just mentioned, but also the New York uh, uh, Military Vehicle Club will also be there with World War II vehicles, such as Jeeps, weapons carriers, and even an ambulance. So there'll be some pretty cool stuff around there to see. What kind of period costumes will we be able to see? Well, you'll be able to see all the uniforms that different forces wore. Uh, you'll see Marine uniforms, Army uniforms, different types of Army uniforms. Uh, you'll see Navy uniforms. Uh, they'll be British, uh, possibly some Czechoslovakian forces. So you'll see a, a wide range of uniforms that were worn during World War II. Why is it being held at Old Bethpage Res Restoration Village? Well, we've been pretty lucky. Uh, Nassau County Executive Ed Mangano has uh, allowed us to use Old Bethpage Village as the perfect spot for us to do this encampment. In a way, it's almost like stepping back into France in 1944, the way some of the farm areas really look. And he's been kind enough to allow us to use this village in order to salute the veterans and to help educate uh, the public on the sacrifices that the citizen soldiers made during World War II, um, because a lot of that has been forgotten over the years. So it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for all of us. What? How did you come up with this idea? We've been involved with Old Bethpage Village for a very long time. And we've done other time periods there, Civil War, and some 18th century uh, French and Indian Revolutionary War stuff. And we thought it was a good idea one year to have a military timeline. We had every, for every arm, uh, United States Army soldier represented from the Revolutionary War all the way up to modern Marines. Uh, who brought a, a Humvee and a big display out for us. So it, is, uh, it was fairly successful and we figured there was a lot of uh, equipment and, and reenactors on Long Island that portrayed World War II soldiers. And we thought it would be a good idea maybe get them all together and, and have a, an encampment. What kind of activities will you have for kids like me? Well, we're going to set up a few things uh, for kids. This is the first time we're attempting to do that because we want them to uh, kind of learn some stuff as well. But uh, when they first walk into the encampment, there's going to be a, uh, a questionnaire that the kids have to walk around through the encampment in order to try to find the answers to some of these questions. So they'll learn about the weapons, they'll learn about the equipment, they'll learn about uh, the uniforms and, and some of the, the campaigns and the generals and stuff. And if they answer all those questions correctly, which I'm sure you will, um, we have an area set up uh, where we'll have uh, more or less kind of like an obstacle course. We'll have uh, barbed wire that you have to crawl under, not real barbed wire, but fake barbed wire. 
Um, we'll have a minefield that you have to probe and try to find the mines. And we'll even have a grenade toss where you try to knock out an enemy machine gun nest. So there'll be some pretty cool stuff there uh, for everybody to do. Is there anything else you would like to add to, to Well, I, I guess like anything else, we encourage everybody to come out to Old Bethpage Village on May 19th and 20th. It's a great opportunity for kids of all ages to come out and see great historic equipment, vintage uniforms, weapons, uh, tactical demonstrations and weapons demonstrations for the whole family and those history buffs that are out there. So we encourage everyone to come out and see us. We hope you will. Thank you both. Thanks, Mark. Thank you both. Thank you. Again, I'm Carson Libby and this is you.